Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my channel, the Vidi Turtle. And in the last few classes of operations management, we had completed what? We had completed assignment, or that is known as your job allocation, right? So in this class, we are going to study the basics and the fundamentals of scheduling, right? So what is scheduling? Before knowing this, let me just show you one thing. Uh, in the introduction part of the uh, chapter four, I had already told you that production control involves the following functions. What were those functions? Planning, routing, scheduling, dispatching, follow up and inspection. Right. So till date we have studied job allocation which comes under your planning. Now the next step is routing and the next step is scheduling. Okay. So let's start with the class. Guys, I have an amazing offer for you that is you can get 20% off on all your Unacademy subscriptions simply by using my coupon code ANVESHA10. So this great deal Unlock20 has been extended till 2nd of February. So don't wait for more and get your Unacademy subscriptions done today. Before starting the video, I would like you guys to know about this comprehensive batch for CMA Intermediate Group 2 aspirants which is known as Evolve Batch and this batch is meant for June 2022 attempt and this batch is going to start from 3rd February 2022 and this is your chance to study with the top educators of India like OMSM from CS Devay Miglani, Cost and Management Accountancy from Manoj Vij, Indirect Taxation from Ayushi Bansal and likewise. If you are worried about your preparation, then don't worry because they are also going to provide you with a perfect study plan to clear your June 2022 examination. You can avail the Unacademy Plus subscription for CMA Intermediate Group 2 at Rs 900 per month only for 24 months and likewise for 18 months and 12 months, which is very cheaper according to the market prices and Along with that, you can avail a 10% off if you use my coupon code ANVESHA10. And apart from that, if you subscribe to these classes between uh, today and tomorrow, then you are going to get a 20% off on these prices. Which means you can get the classes of 4 papers of group 1 at Rs 11,600 only with a validity for 9 months. Right? So this is a great deal. Don't wait for more and get your Unacademy subscriptions done today. You can find the link for all these batches in my description box below. Don't forget to check them out. So as you can already see that I have mentioned that uh, in the year 2018 June, this question had been there in your uh, examination. Discuss the principles and relationship of scheduling. Right? So, uh, I have made a note and we will study from that particular note. What is scheduling basically? Scheduling is the process of arranging, controlling and optimizing work and workloads in a production process or manufacturing process. Now, imagine a factory where, where <clears throat> continuous production process is going on, right? So, there are, a, uh, there are a set of operations or set of functions that has to be uh, done, right? So, Scheduling, basically what is scheduling? Uh, what do you mean generally by scheduling? Uh, what all things we have to do in a particular day when we are uh, writing down and we are planning like yes from uh, like 9 to 11 I'll study direct taxation from like uh, 2 to 5 I'll do costing like this you are doing your scheduling. Similarly in a manufacturing unit also they do the arrangement controlling and optimization of the entire work or whatever workloads they have, right? So, uh, there are three uh, keywords. You have to basically remember the keywords so that you can automatically frame the sentence in the examination. Arranging, controlling and optimizing, right? You have to arrange the work, then you have to control whether it is being uh, performed in a, uh, in a in a particular manner or not. And then you have to check whether it has it is being done in an optimized manner or not, right? So scheduling is the determination of the time. This is very important. Determination of the time that should be inquired to perform each operation. To perform each operation, how much time do you need to perform one operation? And also the time that should be required to perform the entire series as routed. Matlab kya hai iska? You have to perform a number of functions, right? 
from here to here you have to perform a number of uh, operations or functions so scheduling ka jo basic aim hai that is to uh, to estimate the time required to perform each operation individually right and what is the time that is required to perform this entire series right this entire series understood okay now we will understand what do you mean by scheduling technique scheduling technique is an important technique of determining the starting and completion timings of each operation aur kya hai and that of the total manufacturing process so that the man and machines can be utilized to the maximum right through this uh, picture we understood through this diagram we understood that yes in scheduling you have to like calculate a uh, time required to perform each task and the overall uh, entire series of task right so here also it is saying the same thing like you have to determine ki kab wo start ho raha hai aur wo kab complete ho raha hai the time of starting and when it it is being completed right it is the same thing and also like you have to uh, also you have to calculate the total time required to perform this entire manufacturing process so that whatever manpower you have whatever machines you have you can utilize them to the maximum you can make optimum utilization of them understood okay so we we uh, understood what do you mean by routine right uh, sorry we understood what do you mean by scheduling now we will understand what is the meaning of routing from the word itself what do you mean uh, what you can understand root right root kya hota hai rasta the path so routing means determination of the root or determination of the path which is to be followed by each part or component being transformed from input or raw material to the final product okay now let's understand this ये है रॉ मटेरियल ये है आपका फिनिश्ड गुड्स आई होप यू आर एबल टू सी सी दिस फ्रॉम इन इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग द रॉ मटेरियल टू द फिनिश्ड गुड्स वॉट एवर यू नो फंक्शन आर बींग कैरिड आउट वॉट एवर प्रोसेस आर बींग कैरिड आउट ऑल दोज प्रोसेस आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस रूट राइट like first you have to uh, do the you know do the cutting then you have to do the stitching then you have to do the dyeing like this these are all the operations which you have to perform while converting the raw material into finished goods so routing ka matlab hai you have to determine which path to follow right kiske baad kya aayega which function you have to do after another that particular thing is known as routing basically aapko rasta nikalna hai ki yes main ye 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 karunga Understood? Now coming back to the book, जो first आपका paragraph दिया हुआ है scheduling लिखा है वो हमने अपने notes से ही पढ़ लिया Now we will uh, understand the relationship between routing and scheduling. So routing और scheduling जो है ना these two terms are interconnected. Okay, interconnected and they are uh, like uh, they cannot be con uh, conducted uh, independently. ओके यू कैन नॉट परफॉर्म दम इंडिपेंडेंटली मतलब अगर आप रूटिंग कर रहे हो देन यू हैव टू चेक द शेड्यूल एंड टू मेक द शेड्यूल यू हैव टू नो द रूट राइट ओके सो रूटिंग इज अ प्री रेक्विजाइड फॉर शेड्यूलिंग वाइल टाइम टू बी टेकन मे फ्रॉम द बेसिस ऑफ रूटिंग एंड दैट इज फिक्स बाई शेड्यूलिंग ओके सो इट इज सेंग दैट रूटिंग इज एन एसेंशियल बिफोर डूइंग योर शेड्यूलिंग वाई इज इट सो सी शेड्यूलिंग में क्या होता है आपको टाइम डिटरमाइन करना रहता है टाइम कैलकुलेट करना रहता है सो यू कैन नॉट कैलकुलेट द टाइम इफ यू डोंट नो विच पाथ टू फॉलो राइट सी यू नो दैट येस आई हैव टू अपियर फॉर बोथ द ग्रुप्स एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू आर मेकिंग योर टाइम टेबल एंड इफ यू इफ यू आर नॉट अवेयर लाइक विच ग्रुप यू आर परफॉर्मिंग विच ग्रुप यू आर अपियरिंग देन यू कैन नॉट मेक द टाइम टेबल द वेरी सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग हियर सिंपली यू जस्ट नीड टू नो like which path are you going to follow what are the functions which you have to uh, complete and after that you can make your uh, uh, like you can make your schedule right understood similarly scheduling is imp equally important for routing why is it so because it is quite difficult to route an item efficiently through a plant without consulting previously designed schedules okay 
सो इन एवरी फैक्ट्री दे हैव देयर प्रीवियसली डिजाइन शेड्यूल्स मतलब जो पिछले जो लास्ट टाइम का शेड्यूल था दे हैव दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग वेर दे नो लाइक विच विच फंक्शन टेक्स हाउ मच टाइम दे नो दिस ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हम लोग एक टेक्सटाइल uh, इंडस्ट्री uh, की बात ले लें तो वहां पर अगर वहां पर हमारे लेट से तीन फंक्शन है ओके वी हैव थ्री फंक्शन कटिंग देन यू हैव योर स्टिचिंग एंड देन यू हैव योर डाइंग राइट सो थिंग्स डू बिकम इजियर वेन यू नो लाइक येस आई नीड सिक्स आवर्स फॉर कटिंग आई नीड ट्वेल्व आवर्स फॉर स्टिचिंग एंड आई नीड लाइक वन डे फॉर डाइंग सो वेन यू नो द टाइमिंग्स वेन यू नो द ड्यूरेशन देन इट बिकम्स वेरी इजियर फॉर यू टू मेक द रूटिंग लाइक विच थिंग टू डू फर्स्ट एंड हाउ कैन यू मैनेज योर टाइम एंड हाउ कैन यू यूटिलाइज योर मेन एंड योर मशीन टू द मैक्सिमम अंडरस्टूड the main aim of routing is to pass the item through the process of manufacture by a route which is the best and the most economical so what is it saying routing ka jo main aim hota hai wo kya hota hai ki you have to pass the item through a particular process which is best and which is also economical which is also your uh, cheaper right so this is why scheduling is necessary for effective routing now you understood this i think okay uh now the next topic that we have to study is principles of scheduling so there are basically three principles of scheduling the first one is the principle of optimum task size so it means uh if the task sizes are small and the, all the tasks are of same uh, order of magnitude or you can say like all the uh, task sizes are small and they are equal they are of equal magnitude they are of like uh, uh, like uh, equal quantity then it becomes easier for the uh, scheduling to achieve maximum efficiency okay so we can understand it by a, a very uh, appropriate example like you have a very long chapter okay so you cannot uh, study that chapter and you cannot remember that chapter in one day so what do you generally do you just break that chapter in small small portions okay and you complete one one portion at a time similarly it is same the saying the same thing that you have to uh, convert the task sizes into smaller ones you have to like convert the task into small tasks and then and you have to be careful that all the tasks are of the same magnitude they are of the same magnitude or they are of the same quantity so that way you can achieve optimum efficiency or you can uh, achieve your maximum efficiency so this is your principle of optimum task size so uh, this particular principle gives you good results and agar bhi aap isko bhool jate ho even if you ignore this principle then it is self correcting right here it is uh, uh, here one example has been given the very same example that i just gave you just read this one and you will be able to understand this now the second principle is the principle of the optimum production plan optimum what is this production plan what do you mean by plan see when you are planning to manufacture something so that way if your work is planned and uh, you are imposing equal or even load on all the plants then your uh, uh, then your uh, scheduling is supposed to achieve the maximum efficiency so there are two points basically one is your work is planned and the second one is whatever plants or whatever facilities you have you have to distribute equal or even load amongst them right for example if you have 10 machines and uh, like you have to complete an order of 1000 units then you have to like distribute the 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 lo- workload on the 10 machines evenly right like every machine is supposed to produce 100 units you can't make it like ek machine 20 units produce karega and another machine will produce uh, 200 units you can't make that if you make that then your efficiency will be hampered your like flow of production will be hampered right uh, now the third principle is the principle of the optimum operation sequence what does it say like the scheduling tends to achieve its maximum efficiency when the work is planned so that the work centers are normally used in the same sequence 
okay so here i would like to uh, say one thing uh, have you studied the chapter learning curve in your paper 10 if you have studied that chapter then it will be very easier for you to understand this point so what is it saying if your work is planned and you are performing it from a, from quite a long time then what happens whatever work centers you have they are normally used in the same sequence right there is a there is a similar sequence in which you have to perform all the task so it becomes uh, it, it becomes your habit or you become habituated to it all the men and all the machines they get habituated to that particular series of work so that particular sequence of work so that ultimately uh, um, increases your efficiency or this particular scheduling can achieve maximum efficiency understood now this much is for today's class guys and i hope you understood uh, whatever we studied today and uh, if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button subscribe to my channel the witty turtle and also share this video with your cma intermediate friends who are preparing for group 2 and uh, one more thing whoever south indian students are watching my video uh, if you know any other friends uh, friends or uh, your uh, known people who are searching classes in English for OMSM then you can refer my channel to them it will be a, a, a great blessing for them so yeah that was it for today's video and uh, do share this video with your CMA intermediate friends all the links for my social media handles are given in the description box below and yes don't forget to subscribe to an academy today uh, like between today or tomorrow because a 20% off is going on on an academy